this? Yeah. You've forgotten something. Mm. Is that the best you can do? Mm. Well? Better. A lot better. <laughs> Look, shall I walk you to the station? Would you mind? Are you kidding? Give us a minute. You all right, Paul? Oh, fine. What was all that about? I mean, Paul. You know what I mean. Give me the brush off. I don't need to be so paranoid. Don't I? Sorry, Dennis. Well, I'll see you later, then. It's taken. So, we're going public now, are we? No. Oh. Not you tell me, of course. It's not like that. Dennis and I didn't choose to fall in love, but that's what's happened. Vicky, it's not easy for us either. Please, try and see it from our point of view. Oh, so it's our point of view now, is it? Soon it'll be our car, our house. You know, the more I think about it, the more I just want to jump on a train and disappear somewhere. Oh, don't say that. Well, you'd only have yourself to blame if I did, wouldn't you? <laughs> Now, Sharon. The sooner you get used to us, the better. Don't you care what people think? No, I couldn't care less. You're lying. I made some mistakes in the past, but this isn't one of them. So what's the stop you going public, then? We've decided to wait. You and Sharon's decided. And why would she do that? Because she's ashamed. Of what? Of sleeping with her brother. How was the gym? I'm just sick of it. All this pretending, all this hiding. Well, Dennis, we've, we've been through this. We agreed to wait. I came past the Argy Bar Jimmy way back today. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice if me and Sharon went out to dinner tonight like a proper couple? You know, I was really getting into the idea when I realised that even if we just sat there, if we didn't do anything, we didn't hold hands, you'd still be scared to death. And that's when it hit me. It's always going to be like this. We're always going to be pretending. Don't be ridiculous. You think? Well, I can't see how or when any of this is ever going to change. I hate living like this, too. But how are people going to accept us? You mean Vicky? She was always going to be a problem. But what about your mates? What if they don't approve, either? Well, you won't know until you tell them. I told Kate. Why didn't you say something? Because I didn't like what I heard. Why? What did she say? That we should expect others to react the same way as Vicky. Well, maybe she's not such a good mate after no. all. No. No good mates tell the truth. So you tell me the truth. Is this you trying to back out? What? With us. Is this you saying you don't want it anymore? No, that's ridiculous. Of course not. You are ashamed, aren't you? No, of course not. You know it's not that at all. All right, then get your coat. What? We're going to go to the Vic as a couple, you and me, and stuff what everyone else thinks. <laughs> so I was right. At least now I know exactly where I stand. Fuck no eyes. What's the magic word? There you go, all right. Thanks, A double cat. Please. Watch me. I ain't even started yet. Need some company? I'd watch him if I were you. Got a bit of a dangerous streak, have we? Some people say that. I'd like to hear more. You can buy me a drink while you're at it. Hi, it's Sharon. Are you going to be in for a while? You remind me of a boyfriend I once had. Is that right? It's a compliment. The one that got away. <laughs> yeah. Pops your tricks again then, Dennis. Look, why don't you go and join your grand for a nice soft drink, eh? My sister. Mm. Ignore her. 
Look, if you're not doing anything later, maybe we could go out somewhere. To a club? Maybe back to my place. I live just around the corner. <laughs> it sounds great. But, um, I'm gonna stay here and wait. You for? My girlfriend. Does she often stand you up like this? I don't know. It, it's complicated. It always is. But I hope she shows this time. Yeah. So do I. We were back yesterday. Don't worry, I won't say a thing. Well, I know you ain't, Kate. Well, what is it then? Well, I don't think Dennis can wait much longer. Well, has he given you an ultimatum? No, not exactly. Well, I've, um, I've been on both sides, and all I know is hiding things. It doesn't get you anywhere in the long run. How do you mean? It just makes coming clean much harder. You know, it's better to get it over and done with. <sighs> not easy, though, is it? <laughs> I've learned how complicated love can be. That's for sure. We don't always fall in love with the ideal person. You think it's wrong, then? No. No, I didn't say that. I just said it's not ideal. But then again, it never is. In any way, it doesn't matter what I think. What do you think? Public, our life here will become impossible. Just so leave. Go somewhere else where no one knows you. What, move away? Yeah, make a fresh start. Are you serious? It's an option. I can't do that. You've done it before. I've thought about it recently as well. And why are you still here? Because I decided that this was my home and it's where I could be myself. But it's the same for me, Kate. And if I can't be myself here, I can't be myself anywhere. Dennis? This is an unexpected surprise. Look, I'd uh, move a bit further away if I were you. Don't want people getting the wrong idea. They can think what they like. Yeah, but imagine what they might start saying. You'd never live it down. I've come to see you, especially. Yeah? And why so then? <laughs>